Today is Good Friday 2024. That's March 30th. Camping up at East Branch, Sakandaga River, campsite uh, five. There's still some snow up here. Um, there's actually more snow coming up the, this driveway than I expected. There was a bit of a snow drift. It's melted quite a bit since yesterday, but I was going up the driveway and I just kind of swerved to miss a downed limb. And I got stuck going up this hill. I had, you know, I had a snow shovel, I dug, dug it out and I put it in four wheel drive low and carefully just a bunch of digging and you know just kind of notching it back and forth got it up the hill but I was really shocked because I didn't think it'd be much snow at all up here because you know while I got a ton of snow last week up here they didn't get as much snow here as they did farther south closer to the uh, Great Sakandaga Lake but um, yeah, there was a, oh, probably close to a foot of snow yesterday coming up here. I had to dig it out. And once after the flat area here, there's not as much snow, which is strange. But, uh, you know, it's fine once I got in the four-wheel drive low. But uh, I got up here, turned around, but I was really shocked that I got stuck on that hill. But it's a pretty good hill, and as I said, I slowed down to swerve around a uh, branch that was down. I should have walked the, the driveway first and lifted that branch up and... Uh, you know, maybe even dug out some before I started to try up it. But no big deal. I got up to the campsite. I'm not stuck. I'll be able to get out fine, certainly by uh, Easter on Sunday because it'll have mostly melted. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm stumbling a little bit. I'm a little bit chilled through. The wind's whipping around today. It's about 40, but you know, there's a roaring wind. And all morning it was fine. I mean, the sun's warm. If I was laying in the hammock under the uh, a blanket, I thought, oh, that'd be fine. Then all of a sudden, I started to feel chilled through. But yeah, so I'm back up here again. I camp up here quite a bit. I like this site. You know, it's it's generally fairly accessible in the winter. You know, it's right off 8th, which is always paved and plowed and <coughs> maintained well, though it's getting kind of rough again. And this campsite is nice and screened from the road. Has decent sun. Has a great fire pit. And uh, I actually like not having cell service, the chance to get away from it all. <coughs> Been doing a lot of uh, reading uh, ebooks now on my phone. You can get them to the Libby app and you download them onto your phone and then you have them. And once they're downloaded, you don't need uh, actual cell service. So, I, you know, you just read them like a regular book and they're nicely formatted so they're easy to read. And when they're on your phone, you think you can read them at night because you don't need light to actually read the book, which is pretty cool. Oh uh, yeah, so I'm actually hide out. I was gonna probably hide in my truck and get warm under the blankets there because I was in the hammock for a while. And I thought with the sun, all would be fine, but the wind's picked up and it's just gotten cold. Tomorrow's not supposed to be as windy, so that will help. I think some of it is just the snow being on the ground too, and the, the sun melts in the snow, it just makes everything kind of cool and damp, plus the wind. But, uh, yeah, it's still great to be away from Albany. It's been a pa uh, past month and a half. I mean, I've been doing a lot of looking at uh, uh, buying property or uh, buying a house or something, like, but I really wanted to do the off-grid cabin type thing. But it's tough to find good, good large lots, uh, you know, with good acreage. You know, I'd like to have like 20 acres or at least 10, but you can't find anything like that, you know, really close to the city, you know, for any kind of price, really. And I mean, I have some constraints in my budget too, so, you know, I can probably build it with cash, but it, it'd be, it's gonna be, um, it's tough. And I have to decide if I really want to stay in New York I, mean, I make great money, I have a great job now, but, uh, and I, you know, my parents are, you know, which are increasingly elderly, are still in New York, so I like to be able to visit them, but uh, that could be a whole other video or a series of videos, I don't know if you've been following my blog and all the uh, thoughts I have on, on different things related to that, but uh, it is what it is, it's good to be away and not have to be thinking about that for a while. I mean, so far my new landlord's been fine. Uh, you know, as long as he gets the checks, he's happy, and he's been taking my checks by mail, so I'm not not complaining right now. And the thing is that my rent is still, even with the rent increase coming up in June, is still going to be below 9.6% um, of my gross income, which really isn't too bad. Even with utilities, it's 11 or 12%, and the rest I'm, you know, saving and investing. So, because you know, I'm saving and investing about. 
you know, about 30% of my income per year. So doing well. I just got to figure out, you know, what I want to do. Because, you know, I'm in my 40s, mid, you know, 40s now. And, uh, you know, it's a great time earning lots of good money, doing great work. But, you know, I'd like to figure out where, what, where I really want to call home. Because my really dumpy apartment really is not home. And these trips are great. But, uh, you know, it's only, I can't be up here every, every week. It's too far to drive back and forth. And, you know, the weather isn't always that great, and, you know, camping is great, but, you know, it, it doesn't provide the shelter that a real house would provide. And, you know, it's just a temporary situation. It's not a, uh, you know, not like a home. Can't have livestock and stuff, you know, up in the woods. You're camping in the woods, obviously. But, uh, I'm over almost six minutes now. All I can say is it is kind of a chilly day with that breeze. I'll be glad when it breaks, uh, the breeze dies down tonight and um, hopefully the rest of the weekend will be pretty warmer and nicer well I'm going to do some more reading probably from inside my truck where it's hopefully a little bit less windy at least because the hammock is just too cold right now but uh, thanks for watching and always check my blog for the latest updates I know I've been not so good at putting posting things on YouTube but I've been busy and I just haven't been doing the videos as much